Let's talk about what's happening back here at home because after storms last night again this morning, we are waking up to uncomfortable conditions. Our dew point at 72 degrees. You know when it gets above 70 degrees, it is muggy, almost a little oppressive out there too. In central Arizona, that's where we're seeing some of the highest dew points right now in the upper 60s to low 70s. In addition to that, it's not that cool this morning. We're waking up to 82 degrees, so it feels muggy. It feels a little bit warm as we start the day here in the valley and check out temperatures in spots like Lake Havasu and Bullhead City. We're waking up to temperatures in the 90s there. Meanwhile, 50s in Flagstaff, the envy of the state as we check in at 56 there, 62 in Heber. Across the valley, only a few neighborhoods in the 70s. That does include Anthem, Cape Creek and Fountain Hills. Upper 70s currently in the Santan Valley where you're waking up to 78 degrees. It's 81 in Mesa, 80 in Ahwatukee and Peoria. You're going to walk out the door to 83 degrees. Now our dew points, they're going to stay elevated today, so expect dew points in the upper 60s to near 70 all day long. That means it's going to stay sticky through the day. And with that monsoon moisture in place, we've got a chance for more thunderstorms by this evening into tonight. Now this morning we're starting out with some cloud cover. Those storms from overnight pushing into southwest Arizona into Yuma, where we've got multiple alerts, including flash flood warnings through La Paz County and a dust storm advisory for portions of the I-8. The rest of the state tracking just a line of showers across Yavapai County. It's possible a few of those could drift into the valley. So I did keep about a 10 to 20% chance of a shower here in the forecast through the morning. But what I want you to see is that we'll see some daytime clearing overall. As we get some of that daytime heating, then storms fire back up along the rim and the movement of the storms will put the valley right in the path again. So like what we saw on Friday, we're going to have to watch for storms that could move in this evening and into tonight, and they'll be capable of producing some heavy rain, but also some damaging winds too. So a flash flood watch does remain in effect for central and southeast Arizona that extended through 2 a.m. Tuesday, so late tonight, as again, the storms that move in later today could bring more flash flooding. That's going to be the biggest threat, but notice those areas in the darker green. Those areas, including the valley and spots like Flagstaff and Tucson, also have the potential of getting some damaging or strong winds, so that's going to be a risk, and we could see some hail, especially over those higher terrain spots. So as you step outside, it's muggy and it's warm with a temperature of 82 degrees right now in Phoenix. We're heading up into the hundreds, so it's going to be a hot and humid day with a high of 101, a 50% chance for storms by this evening. Then temperatures fall into the 90s Tuesday through the end of the week. What you're also going to notice is that those rain chances trend down and it looks like we're going to get some drier days towards the end of the week and this weekend.